Dress of White Silk by Richard Matheson. Publication date not listed. Quiet is here and all in me. Grandma locked me in my room and won't let me out. Because it's happened, she says. I guess I was bad. Only it was a dress. Mama's dress, I mean. She's gone away forever. Grandma says your mama's in heaven. I don't know how. Can she go in heaven if she's dead? Now I hear Grandma. She's in Mama's room. She's putting Mama's dress down in the box. Why does she always? And locks it, too. I wish she didn't. It's a pretty dress and smells sweet so and warm. I love to touch it against my cheek, but I can't never again. I guess that's why Grandma's mad at me. But I ain't sure. All day it was only like every day. Mary Jane came over to my house. She lives across the street. Every day she comes to my house and play. Today she was. I have seven dolls in the fire truck. Today Grandma said, play with your dolls and it. Don't you go inside your mama's room now, she said. She always says it. She just means not mess up, I think, because she says it all the time. Don't go in your mama's room like that. But it's nice in mama's room. When it rains, I go there. Or when Grandma's doing her nap, I do. I don't make noise. I just sit on the bed and touch the white cover. Like, when I was only small, the, the room smells sweet. I make believe Mama's dressing and I'm allowed in. I smell her white silk dress. Her going out for the night dress. She called it that I don't remember when. I hear it moving if I listen hard. I make believe I see her dressing at the dressing table touching on perfume or something I mean and see her dark eyes I can remember it's so nice that rains and I see eyes on the window the rain sounds like a big giant outside he says shush shush so everyone be quiet I like to make believe that in mama's room what I like almost best is to sit at mama's dressing table it's like pink and big and smells sweet too the seat in front has a pillow sewn on it there are bottles and bottles with bumps and they have colored perfume in them. And you can almost see your whole self in that mirror. When I sit there, I make believe I'm Mama. I say, be quiet, Mom. I'm going out and you can't stop me. It is something I say. I don't know why I like to hear it in me. No, stop your sobbing, Mother. They won't catch me. I have my magic dress. When I pretend I brush my hair long, but I only use my own brush from my room. I didn't never use Mama's brush. I don't think Grandma's mad at me for that because I never use Mama's brush. I would never! Sometimes I did open the box up because I know where Grandma puts the key. I saw her once when she wouldn't know I saw her. She puts the key on the hook in Mama's closet. Behind the door, I mean. I could open the box lots of times. That's because I like to look at Mama's dress. I like best to look at it. It's so pretty and feels soft and like silky. I could touch it for a million years. I kneel on the rug with roses on it. I hold the dress in my arms and like breathe from it. I touch it against my cheek. I wish I could take it to sleep with me and hold it. I like to. Now I can't because Grandma says. And she says I should burn it up and I love her so. And she cries about the dress. I wasn't ever bad with it. I put it back neat like it was never touched. Grandma never knew. I laughed that she never knew before, but she knows now I did it, I guess. And she'll punish me. What did it hurt her? Wasn't it my mama's dress? What I like real best in mama's room is look at the pictures of mama. It has a gold thing around it. Frame is what grandma says. It's on the wall on top of the bureau. Mama's pretty. Your mama was pretty, Grandma says. Why does she? I see Mama there smiling on me, and she's pretty, for always. Her hair's black like mine. Her eyes are even pretty like black. Her mouth is red, so red. I like the dress, and it's the white one. It's all down on her shoulders. Her skin's white, almost white like the dress, and so are her hands. She's so pretty. I love her even if she's gone away forever. I love her so much. I guess I think that's what made me mad. I, I mean, to Mary Jane. Mary Jane came from lunch like she does. 
Grandma went to her nap, and she said, Don't forget now, no go into your mama's room. I told her, No, Grandma. And I was saying the truth, but then Mary Jane and I was playing fire truck. Mary Jane said, I bet you haven't, no mother. I bet you made it all up, she says. I got mad at her. I have a mama, I know. She made me mad at her to say I made it all up. She said I'm a liar. I mean, about the bed and the dressing table and the picture and the dress and even and everything. I said, well, I'll show you, smarty. I looked into Grandma's room. She was doing her nap still. I went down and said, Mary Jane, be come on, because Grandma wouldn't know. She wasn't so smart after then. She giggled like she does. Even she made a scaredy noise when she hid into the table in the hall upstairs. I said, you're a scaredy cat to her. She said, back, well, my house isn't so dark like this. Like, that was so much. We went in Mama's room. It was more dark than you could see. I said, this is my Mama's room. I suppose I made it up at all. She was by the door and she wasn't smart then either. She didn't say any word. She looked around the room. She jumped when I got her arm. Well, come on, I said. I sat on the bed and said, this is my mama's bed. See how soft it is? She didn't say nothing. Scaredy cat, I said. Am not, she said, like she does. I said to sit down. How can you tell if it's soft if you don't sit down? She sat down by me. I said, feel how soft it is. Smell how sweet it is. I closed my eyes, but funny, it wasn't like always, because Mary Jane was there. I told her to stop feeling the cover. You said to, she said. Well, stop it, I said. See, I said, and I pulled her up. That's a dressing table. I took her and brought her there. She said, let go. It was so quiet and like always. I started to feel bad because Mary Jane was there, because it was in my mama's room and mama wouldn't like Mary Jane there, but I had to show her the things because... I showed her the mirror. We looked at each other in it. She looked white. Mary Jane's a scaredy cat, I said. Am not, am not, she said. Anyway, nobody's house is so quiet and dark inside. Anyway, she said it smells. I got mad at her. No, it doesn't smell, I said. Does so, she said. You said it did. I got madder, too. It smells like sugar, she said. It smells like sick people in your mama's room. Don't say my mama's room is like sick people, I said to her. Well, you didn't show me no dress, and you're lying, she said. There isn't no dress. I felt all warm inside, so I pulled her hair. I'll show you, I said. You're going to see my mama's dress, and you better not call me a liar. I made her stand still, and I got the key off the hook. I kneeled down. I opened the box with the key. Mary Jane said, Pew, that smells like garbage. I put my nails in her and she pulled away and got mad. Don't you pinch me, she said, and she was all red. I'm telling my mother on you, she said. And anyway, it's not a white dress, it's dirty and ugly, she said. It's not dirty, I said. I said it so loud, I wonder why Grandma didn't hear. I pulled out the dress from the box. I held her up to show her how it's white. It fell open like the rain whispering and the bottom touched on the rug. It is too white, I said, all white and clean and silky. No, she said, she was so mad and red, it has a hole in it. I got more madder. If my mama was here, she'd show you, I said. You ain't got no mama, she said all ugly. I hate her. I have, I said it way loud. I pointed my finger to mama's picture. Well, who can see in the stupid dark room, she said. I pushed her hard and she hit it against the bureau. See then, I said, mean. Look at the picture. That's my mom and she's the most beautiful lady in the world. She's ugly. She has funny hands, Mary Jane said. She hasn't, I said. She's the most beautiful lady in the world. Not, not, she said. She has buck teeth. I don't remember then. I think the dress moved in my arms. Mary Jane screamed. I don't remember what. It got dark and the curtains were closed, and I think I couldn't see anyway. I couldn't hear nothing except buck teeth, funny hands, buck teeth, funny hands, even when Nona was saying it. There was something else because I think I heard someone call, Don't let her say that! And I couldn't hold the dress. And it had it on me, I can't remember, because I was grown up strong. But I was a little girl still, I think, I mean, outside. I think I was terrible bad then. Grandma took me away from there, I guess. I, I don't know. 
She was screaming, God help us, it's happened, it's happened, over and over. I don't know why. She pulled me all the way here to my room and locked me in. She won't let me out. Well, I'm not so scared. Who cares if she locks me in a million billion years? She doesn't even have to give me supper. I'm not hungry anyway. I'm full. <laughs>